Okay, folks, we're back once again to talk about the new uh, bonded G6 and G13 magnets, the molded mag polymer magnets, and the new uh, T3 ready to run using the new rear bulkhead. We'll get to that in a minute. First, just a little visual comparison. We've got a T2 super stock on the bottom. Let's see if I can get this so you can see it better. Okay, and the Pro Stock with the G6 magnets on top, and I think you can see the difference in the length of the tractions compared to the T3. So the motor magnets are shortened somewhat, the traction magnets are 50 thousandths longer, and that's made possible by notching the rear bulkhead on the sides and by shifting the top tabs toward the rear so it moves the bulkhead forward a bit and the extra length of the traction magnets that's the reason for the notch or the notch on the front and back of the retaining tab on the magnets now the grade six were all supposed to be black. They've got the all the motor magnets black, but they made the tractions all the tractions gray. So I've dusted some black paint on them for visual, a quick visual identification. These are the grade thirteen on the left. And you see the grade thirteen. They've marked the negative or north face with blue paint, and the they're using red. This one was turned around. Red to mark the north face on the grates, uh, the G6. Okay, and the motor magnets, again, white paint to mark the north or negative face. And the G13, again, white paint. Okay. All right, so let's talk about the polarity of the new um, Pro Stock. Since these magnets um, are, they are stronger than uh, ceramic. Not a huge amount, but enough that uh, it makes sorting of magnets completely unnecessary now. Uh, they work so well you can run them in the low downforce setup. For those that are not too familiar, let me spend a moment on that. If you take a stock G plus car and uh, just a stock Tyco traction magnet, which is north on the bottom, it will attract to the passenger side motor magnet, and it will attract to the opposite side, the driver side traction magnet. So, and we just pull the traction magnet out. Apparently, there's no clip in this car. That's okay. So we have north and south giving us high downforce setup on that. Same thing in the super stock. Attracts to that and attracts to the driver's traction magnet. Okay. Now with the pro stock, we can run them in the low downforce setup. So you can see again it tra attracts to the passenger magnet here and also attracts to the passenger traction magnet. So we've got the same polarity on this side, same polarity on that side. And this is a good and easy way to check a car if you're uncertain which side the gear has to go on. Take a stock tri Tyco traction magnet and whichever side it attracts to the back of the motor magnet, that's the side the gear has to go on. Okay, now for those that are, of you that are going to be building these yourself, again, keep in mind that the any car that uses the high downforce setup, the traction magnets do affect the motor field to some degree. And what it does is it tends to pull the armature forward off center of the motor magnet slightly. The opposite is true with the low downforce setup. 
So in this car, the armature is being pulled slightly off center of the motor magnets toward the rear, and you want the motor to run in the magnetic center. And you can see the space here is a bit closer than it is up here, because this armature has to be shifted forward slightly to get the correct setup, and this one toward the rear slightly. Okay, one of the little things that add up in the performance of any car. And you can also see if you look at the commutator that the brushes are closer to the front in this car. Okay, and the performance of the the Pro Stock is uh, it, it's just such a, a fun car to drive. You've got all the downforce you need. Uh, the magnets do not even need to touch the rail at all. If if you do, you're just going to slow the car down. So the uh, it completely eliminates the benefits for the racers are it eliminates magnet sorting really. Uh, there's no need to search for the holy grail, the strongest magnets you can find, because you've got uh, just plenty of stick for really any track. And the cost is uh, certainly a benefit for the racers. It just does not make sense any longer to uh, keep making ceramic magnets because the cost has just become prohibitive. So I think that's that's about it. Here's a, um, a modified car. I guess we should show one of those with again with the high downforce setup. Okay, and a modified car, a 36 gauge or 35 and a half gauge arm makes a, a very nice, uh, very smooth car. And the uh, the motor magnets themselves give just extremely smooth motor performance. And uh, this should be a breath of fresh air, I think, for the restricted open, the RO racers, since the uh, grade 25 material uh, is not available, has not been available for nearly two years now. Uh, these magnets are one third the cost of the machined grade 25 polymers. And they're about um, four or five hundred gauss less. But what that means is, you know, a slight difference in lap times, make it a little easier on the corner marshals, and uh, less destruction. So I think that's about all we're going to cover on this video. Again, it's uh, important to keep in mind the polarity when you're building the car and the armature setup. You don't want to space the armature without the traction magnets in the car because it's no longer going to be in the magnetic center once you put the traction magnets in. Okay, I think that's about it. We're at about eight and a half minutes right now. So I guess we'll close there. And um, maybe just one more word, this is a stock uh, M car, row car, later became the lifelike, and that one also, if we find the stock Tyco magnet, it's the same north on the bottom. So you can use either one of those to check polarity on your cars. I don't think there's anybody that doesn't have some stock Tyco traction magnets laying around. So that's it. Uh, wish you all a Merry Christmas. And uh, some people have already got the cars and are really having fun with them. Other people have ordered them. And uh, those are on, that are on order will get them out as soon as possible. Okay, hope everyone has a, a great holiday.